Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you our one of our TTL kits. It's called TTL-640X480, which is a, to test the LCD screen that the older one have a TTL interface. This kit uh, including uh, two screen cables. Um, so this one and uh, one inverters. That's a two lamp and um, this inverter too. So this one, including this wire adapter, this is the most common one for, especially for the NEC. I'm going to show you later. So um, connect here. Let's come with it. So this part, let me let me show you a little bit more detail. Basically, um, this is a jumper to set in a screen uh, supply voltage. Uh, this is actually the inverter. It depends what screen you test. Um, so let's say next one I want to test the um, uh, NEC. So I'm going to use this inverter. Um, so basically, if you want to switch the wire, you know, this is the the marking on this one, pink one, but this cable is for kind of some two shiver screen. So we do have a detailed list. Uh, if you look at another comment section, there's a link. So if you want to see what LC screen is can be tested by this kit, so uh, just cut and place the link and uh, you see all the details and which most likely will be sharp and NEC screen. So let's set aside, I just want to show you a, how to test a screen here. So this is the I have here. <coughs> really simple, really common old NEC screen. So uh, the part number, you see? So I see you can see the part number now. NL644AC33-18, it's a pretty common one. So let's say, obviously this one connect to here. All right, this one connect to here. Just make sure the connections, okay? You can flip over like this. Uh, we need to apply power supply which is 12 volts and then and also a uh, the signal let's try out my uh, generators so fire up no signal but well, this one's with backlight lamp so it's kind of dim though you see it I'm not sure you can see it but let me put the color bar maybe you see better See that? Okay, so this screen's back, you see the lines. Anyway, this is how easy to test it. And you can also just test a different screen. I have another sharp screen here. So, <coughs> and this one, see, sharp 10.4 inch. Uh, screen number LQ104V1DG11, two lamps. So basically just remove this. The screen. Okay. Then we're gonna change the inverter, take it out. So anyway, one one more thing. If you have other screen that have a bigger connector, you can just disconnect this wire adapter and connect directly. Okay. And <coughs> connect here. Let's see. Uh, we're gonna do it like this. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna apply the powers, the flick overs. See this? I'm not sure you can see it now because this is pretty dim. Okay. Let me see. It looks like there's inverted some problems. Let me see here. Yeah. The lamp's really old, this one. Anyway, <coughs> this is how you test the display. <coughs> and in some cases, for example, some sharp screens, especially for sharp, they might have like <coughs> five volt DC uh, uh, supply for the panel. And which is, this is, uh, if you can see, it's usually by default, we set by 3.3 .3 volt. <coughs> but the sum of the rule is that, let's say you test some sharp screen, uh, like LQ10D367 or 368, it has five volt. We can look up my site, you know, our website also tell you what the B plus voltage. But anyway, the easiest way, if you try to be lazy, in case you're using 300 volt, you don't see anything, you can just do the quick push it up, set it to five volt to test it. 
So that way, after that, you remember you switch it back because just for the testing, that's okay. All right. <clears throat> Thanks for watching.